Welcome to our lecture online. In this new set of videos, we're going to talk about the hyperbola and how to graph one. Of course, we first need to understand what a hyperbola is. And yes, it is a graph of an equation that looks kind of interesting. It almost looks like a double parabola, but it's not quite that. It's a graph of a function that must meet the following conditions. So what are the conditions it must meet? Well, the first one is kind of an interesting one. So here we have a hyperbola drawn on the board. Notice I put down the two foci, a focus on one side and on the other side. They're equidistant from the origin. We also draw these lines right here, these straight lines that cross at the origin. And the positive slope of this line is equal to the negative slope on that one. And the parabolas are contained within the cone shape of those two straight lines. But the most interesting rule is that the distance from one focus to any point on the parabola and the distance from the other focus to that same point of the parabola, we can see that the absolute value of the difference between those two distances will always be a constant no matter where that point is. So you can put the point anywhere on this parabola, on this side right here, or anywhere on that side. The difference, the absolute value of the difference between those two distances is always equal to a constant, the very same constant. So that makes it very interesting. Secondly, the graph approaches the two lines with the slopes that are m and negative m. So in other words, whatever the slope is here, if it's a slope equal to 1, then this is negative 1, 2, negative 2, and so forth. You can see that the parabola will approach those two lines asymptotically, but never touch them. And thirdly, it is the intersection of a plane and a double cone. So here's a double cone. It's a double circular cone. And if we then cut it in such a way that we go through both upper and lower section of the double cone, the intersection between the cone and the plane will form a hyperbola. So those are the conditions that are necessary to have a hyperbola. Now in the next video, we're going to look at the general equation of a hyperbola, and then eventually we'll learn how to graph one. But at least now we know what hyperbolas are. They're sometimes confused with parabolas, but they're not parabolas at all. Notice that we reach these lines asymptotically, which is not the case with a parabola. You can see that here, of course, eventually the slope will, in the end, as you go out to infinity, the slope of the hyperbola will be equal to the slope of those lines. But again, with parabolas, you don't have that. Anyway, now we know what they are. Let's go look at the general equation of a hyperbola. I did it. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't it be, what's the significance of being a constant? Doesn't it have to be a constant? D1 minus D2? Yes. Always on a, on a hyperbola, the difference, it's the difference between this length and this length. So the distance here minus distance there, or you can reverse it, doesn't matter. That difference will always equal a constant. No, it's not the same constant. The same constant. Welcome to my lecture online. In this set of videos, we're going to describe how to graph a parabola. A hyperbola. <laughs> Try again. Welcome to my lecture online. In this set of videos, we're going to learn is how something, to graph. Well, it is a, a sketch. No, it is a... Hmm, but it's hyperbola. <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Good. All right. Welcome to a Ready? Good. <laughs> Why are you asking me if I'm ready? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. God's not going to help you. <laughs> okay. Welcome to. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> okay, all right. Hyperbolas. Okay. Welcome to. I <laughs> Oh, I can't do it. Ah, ah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Why? Yeah. Focus is on the board. <laughs> I'm focused. I'm doubly focused. That means I'm foci. <laughs> I'm going to say, welcome to, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this, uh, uh, okay, I, maybe we need to take a five minute <laughs> break. Only five minutes is enough. Uh, okay, all right, I got this. Welcome to. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Okay. I get past this. All right. I can do this. <laughs>